This is Lee Sterling of ParamountSports.com, and today I'm going to break down a game that before the season started, no one probably paid much attention to. Even three or four weeks, no one looked at. But now it has national championship implications. It's a game between TCU laying six and a half to seven points at Iowa State. Now, before I break down and predict this game, I'll let you know what's going on at Paramount Sports. Well, after a rare losing week, we've still won seven of nine weeks this year. We're going to give you the entire weekend, not for 147 or 127 or even $97. A full weekend, Thursday through Monday, at my executive phone service, just $57. That's right. My gift is saying, I want to prove to you we'll get back on track after a losing weekend. $57, my executive phone service from Thursday through Monday night, where we rate the games from 10 to 50 units, $57, ParamountSports.com, or call us 800-400-9741. Now, this is a huge game on Saturday. It's a game between TCU undefeated and number four ranked TCU, laying six and a half to seven at Iowa State. Total on this game, 50 and a half, 50 to one. Now, TCU, in their games against their toughest opponents, West Virginia and Oklahoma State, they won by 7 and 13 points. Played well. But they were aided by a total plus 5 turnover ratio. Iowa State, they could have folded last week. Quarterback Kyle Kempf, who's been playing great, their only turnover over the last three weeks, he throws an interception, one of the weirdest plays. The defense wasn't set. They just ran out there. They ran to the spot where they were throwing. They were lucky. They fall behind 7 nothing, but they didn't fold. Now, weather could be a huge factor in this game. I mean, they're projecting, I mean, some really bad weather to anywhere from a high of 41 to a low of mid-20s, rain to maybe snow and rain. I mean, it's, it's going to be bad. So if that's the case, you want the team that's sure-handed, Iowa State, maybe a little more sure-handed lately, one turnover in the last three games, big, physical, strong receivers, and Alan Lazard, I mean, I think he's like 6'5", and 6'4", transfer, Matt Eaton, a couple other guys, big and strong guys, they have a short passing game, uh, they don't rely too much on deception, they don't make many mistakes, uh, they're going to make you move the ball down the field, 12, 14, 15 plays. You're usually not going to hit on one big play and go 70, 80 yards. Also, Iowa State head coach Matt Campbell, 19-10-1 against the spread as a dog at Toledo and Iowa State. This is where he does his best work as a head coach. I mean, he's going to be up for possibly some real big-time jobs if he continues the job he's doing here at Iowa State. Also, TCU 7-13 and against the spread is an away favorite. I'm going to say TCU wins the game 27-23, but I'm going to take the 6.5 to 7 points in Iowa State in what could be a low-scoring game. may even be more low, lower scoring than the 27-23 score if the weather turns bad. So I think Iowa State plus the points in our free pick between TCU and Iowa State. You want to get involved with Paramount Sports, just $57.00. For an entire weekend of our executive phone service, it's all available, ParamountSports.com.